Hello, my name is Kenny Neal. I'm the site administrator for the Battle of Island Mound State Historic Site. I'm standing at a monument memorializing the actions of the 1st Kansas Colored Infantry Division in October 1862, which marks the first time in history uniformed black men engaged in combat as Union soldiers during the Civil War. This 40-acre site preserves what was once known as the Toothman Farm, which the 1st Kansas Colored Infantry used as its headquarters when they were sent here to clear out a band of rebels who were camped just south of here. Nearly 160 years ago, the 1st Kansas Colored Infantry Division marched here to this spot and set up their own camp. They called it Fort Africa. The plaque behind me reads in part, Here, on October 29, 1862, was the first crucible to test the mettle of formerly enslaved black men during the Civil War. Here, the 1st Kansas Colored Volunteer Infantry defeated a force rebellious to the federal government, laying to rest doubts that former slaves could perform as soldiers. The Battle of Island Mound State Historic Site is a partner site in Freedom's Frontier National Heritage Area and the National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom, both operated by the National Park Service. Many of the men of the First Kansas were escaped slaves or free men of color. Their actions here set the stage for what was to come and eventually Almost 200,000 black soldiers fought in the Civil War, but all that started right here at the Battle of Island Mound. On our website, you can find a link to a documentary produced by Missouri State Parks that tells the story of the dramatic events that occurred here in 1862. The Battle of Island Mound State Historic Site was officially opened in 2012. At the site, you'll find the monument that you see behind me, a reservable picnic shelter, an informational kiosk, and a half mile trail with informational panels along the trail. We present programs throughout the year such as wildflower walks and evening strolls that highlight the prairie landscape. Peggy Burr, director of the Bates County Museum and an expert on local history, has presented many historical programs over the last several years, and we appreciate her knowledge and contributions to the site. In September of last year, we held our third Triennial Battle of Island Mound commemoration event. Every three years, we hold this event to commemorate what took place here in 1862. On the main stage, various speakers and historical reenactors were featured, and there were living history demonstrations on display throughout the event. In January 2022, we conducted a prescribed fire to maintain grasses and wildflowers on the restored prairie. These burns help us maintain the landscape much like it would have been in 1862 when the battle took place. Over the last year, we have stained the picnic shelter and completed many smaller maintenance projects. In the upcoming year, we will continue prairie restoration efforts, specifically combating invasive plant species that make their way onto the site. Thank you for watching and attending our virtual public meeting presentation. Please feel free to share this link with your family and friends. We welcome your feedback as this video will be posted until the end of the month. If you have any questions, you can reach out to the Stockton State Park Office at 417-276-4259 or email us at stocktonstatepark at dnr.mo.gov. You may also use the comments section to provide feedback focused on the operations at the Battle of Island Mound State Historic Site. If you have other questions or comments, you can email moparks at dnr.mo.gov. The park contact information is also listed in the video description for your convenience. Thanks to the citizens of Missouri, our state parks and historic sites are supported by one half of one tenth of one percent of the parks, soils, and water sales tax. This sales tax allows free access to Missouri's 92 state parks and historic sites. Remember, you're always welcome in Missouri State Parks.